Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna do something a little bit different and I wanna share with you a crazy immigration story that I personally experienced several years ago. It was within my first year of practicing as an immigration lawyer and I remember it was early in the morning and I got a call from somebody and at the time I didn't know who it was and it was a woman and she was frantically saying, Michael, Michael, they took him, they took my husband. And I had no idea what she was talking about. So first I was like, who are you? What's happening? Can you explain? Like, tried to calm her down to figure out what was going on. And I ultimately did find out that she was the spouse of one of my clients. And apparently ICE knocked on the door early in the morning and our client came to the door and they basically arrested him and took him away. And his wife called us frantically saying that they took him, they took him, and she had no idea what was going on. And she was so concerned because he was a diabetic, he didn't have his insulin, he didn't have his medication, and they just took him and she had no idea where he was, where he was going. So from that point, I got on multiple calls and I came to learn which ICE detention facility he was being held at. ICE's Immigration and Customs Enforcement. So I found out what detention center he was being held at and after several calls going through certain layers of customer support representatives, I finally got on the phone with somebody that knew what was going on with the case. And he said to me, sir, what you should know is that there's more going on with this case than what meets the eye. And there's basically more going on here than what you're aware of. And I can't tell you what that is. And I said, I'm the attorney handling the case. Can you please give me some information? I need to know what's going on here. And unfortunately, they didn't give us any information. So after some effort, we were able to secure a hearing before an immigration judge. And at that hearing, we would come to figure out what actually was going on in this case. And to give you some background information, based on all the facts that we were aware of and that our client was aware of, did everything normally. There was no reason, based on the facts that we had, for this individual to be detained by ICE. Basically, he was in the United States as a visitor, and after he came to the United States, he decided to change his status to a different non-immigrant status. And it's totally legal to do that, assuming you file the application on time and all the requirements are met, and we did. We, we filed all the paperwork on time, everything was done seemingly properly. So what was going on here? Well, at the hearing, we came to find out that our client had something called an Interpol Red Notice. Interpol is the International Criminal Police Organization. And basically, a Red Notice is a notice by Interpol to law enforcement agencies everywhere that if they encounter this individual who has an Interpol red notice issued against him, then they should basically arrest him. So ICE became aware of this Interpol red notice and ultimately knocked on our client's door and arrested him. So now you might be wondering, why did our client have an Interpol red notice issued against him? Well, at the time, he didn't even know that he had an Interpol red notice issued against him. So that was a whole other process of figuring out what happened there. Basically, our client was an international entrepreneur. He did business in several countries. In one of the countries that he did business in, some people got a hold of his checks and they wrote checks in very large sums. And his bank account didn't have the funds to cover the amount of those checks. Basically, they were bad checks. The police became aware of these bad checks and ultimately he had charges filed against him in this country. And there were criminal proceedings underway. But our client was no longer in that country. He was in a separate country. So when these proceedings were going on, he had no idea about it. And he ultimately missed a critical court appointment. And apparently in this country, when somebody misses a court appointment, in certain cases, they will get in touch with Interpol and Interpol will issue a red notice. So that's why our client ultimately had the Interpol red notice issued against him and he had no idea. So unfortunately, our client was detained at an ICE detention facility for a period of time. I know that I mentioned earlier in the video that his wife was so frantic partially because she didn't know where he was going and he didn't have his medication for his diabetes. But fortunately, that issue was sorted relatively early. Unfortunately, though, he was in a detention facility for a period of time. But I am happy to report that those tumultuous times are now behind our client and he is now continuing along his immigration journey and he's doing great. So that's wonderful. 
but I did want to share with you this interesting story. At the time, it was something that I had never really witnessed something like that before. And fortunately, since then, I haven't seen anything quite like that either. But I found the story to be very interesting. And I hope you found it interesting too. If you like these types of interesting immigration stories, let me know in the comments. I have more stories to share. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you like this video and look forward to seeing you on the next one.